Hey, it's the Refine Reseller. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube channel. I have been selling on eBay for more than 22 years. I've made a lot of mistakes, but I've also made a lot of money. I'm learning all the time. And when you subscribe to my channel, I will give you tips, tricks, and advice on how to become a successful eBay seller. So please like this video, subscribe to my channel. And today I have an excellent inventory storage hack for you. You know, I'm always trying to learn, so I'm always reading about eBay. I get online, you know, I read blogs, I read Facebook, eBay group uh, questions and everything. And one question I see all the time on Facebook, eBay groups is this. How do you store your inventory? I'm drowning in boxes and items. Please help. So here are some of the answers. I store my items in banker boxes. All right, well, banker boxes are okay. I'm sure you're familiar with them. They're made out of cardboard. You know, you have to put them together. Uh, they're not all that expensive, but you have to have the shelving to put them on. Here's another answer. I buy plastic boxes at Walmart, totes. Okay, so again, you gotta go buy the tote. You gotta buy the shelving to put them on. And here's my favorite one. All of my items are stored in Rubbermaid bins. Have you ever purchased a Rubbermaid bin? Do you know how much they cost? Well, a Rubbermaid bin costs anywhere between $15 and $45. And again, you have to have the shelving to put those bins on. So let's say you go and you buy 10 Rubbermaid bins at Walmart and you pay $25 for each one. That's $250. Then you have also got to buy the shelving, which is going to cost you $100. So now you have $350 invested to store 10 Rubbermaid bins. Well, here's the hack. And this is what I do. I store all of my items, and I currently have more than 1,000 items for sale on eBay. I store them in file cabinets. That's right, file cabinets. But it gets even better. All the file cabinets that you see here, I purchased at garage sales. And I did not pay more than $10 for any one of these file cabinets. It's amazing how many things you can store in a file cabinet. I try to buy the ones that have five drawers because, you know, they're just great. Now, maybe they're a little bulky and a little hard to move around when you first get them. But once you have them in place, you never have to mess with them again. All of these are stored in my garage. I also have some in my house that I'm not showing you, but these are the ones that are in my garage. And I have more than 30 of them total. So if there's five in each one, which there mostly are, 5 times 30 is 150 file cabinet drawers. And let me show you what I can put in these drawers. Okay, so here's one right here. In this one, I have stored CDs. I can probably store 200 CDs in this one file cabinet drawer. Here's another one. This one has DVDs in it and some other stuff. It is not full. I can probably store 100 DVDs in this file cabinet. Here's a file cabinet that has some boxes. Uh, these boxes contain some wigs that I bought at an estate sale. I can store a lot of these in here. Here's another cabinet with some other stuff. So you can see the kind of items that you can store in these file cabinets. You cannot store large items. If you're selling large items, I don't know, appliances, you know, small appliances or whatever, some of them may fit in here, some of them may not but I sell mostly smalls and these file cabinets work great for me. They don't cost me hardly anything and they, they, just, they just do a good job of storing my inventory. So that is an inventory storage hack for all of you eBay sellers out there. I hope you like it. I know you go to garage sales all the time and they're a very common item that you find at garage sales. So keep an eye out for them and don't pay any more than $10 for each one. This is the Refined Reseller saying, I hope you like this video. I hope you learned something from it. So do like me, buy low, sell high. And if you like this video, please subscribe and I will see you next time.